Welcome to our Sailrite Workbench. This is the first part of a series called Learning to Sew. We're gonna teach you everything you need to know to get started as a sewer. So if you've just purchased a sewing machine or you're looking to purchase one, this is the perfect place for you. We're gonna show you the basic sewing principles on our Sailrite Ultra Feed, but you can apply them to whatever machine you own. In this first video, we're gonna teach you how to set up your sewing machine to get started sewing. We're gonna give you a basic overview of each step that you'll need to take, but if you don't have the Ultra Feed, you may need to check your guidebook for specifics on each step. Let's start with the different parts of the machine. So first, we have our presser foot. It's made up of an inside foot, an outside foot, and a feed dog, which is located underneath the needle plate. The foot of this machine is called a walking foot because the upper feet and the feed dog move together to feed the fabric as you sew. This lever on top of the ultra feed moves the presser foot up and down. This allows you to lift the foot, place your fabric where you want it, and then you can place the foot back down. Depending on your sewing machine, this foot lever may be located on a different part of your machine. This metal piece underneath the foot is the needle plate. Our machine has seam allowance markings on the needle plate that you can use as a guide when you sew. The lever on the front is the stitch length lever. This allows you to set the length of your forward and reverse stitching. So you can move these knobs on the top and the bottom to set your forward and reverse stitch. Then you can simply pull the spring loaded lever down to sew in reverse and then release it to return to forward stitching. Now some sewing machines can do straight stitches and zigzag stitches like the Ultrafeed LSE. Because of this, the Ultrafeed LSE has a couple extra levers. So above the stitch length lever, we have our stitch width lever. This lever changes the width of the zigzag stitches. The lever next to this is the needle position lever. This allows you to change the position of the needle to the right, the left, or the center. This is especially helpful when sewing close to the fabric edge or close to a zipper. But it's important to note that only the LSC has these levers. The Ultrafeed LS only sews straight stitches, so it doesn't need stitch width and needle adjustment levers. If you don't have an ultra feed, check your machine's guidebook to see how stitch length, stitch width, and needle position is set. Another feature located on the front of our machine is the stitch tension knob. This dial increases and decreases the tension of the upper thread. This will need to be adjusted depending on the type of fabric and the number of layers that you're working with on your projects. On the right side of the machine is where our balance wheel is located. By pulling the wheel towards yourself, you can manually operate this machine. This is helpful for setting the machine in a specific position or manually setting a stitch. Now we're ready to plug in our foot pedal as well as the machine and turn it on. So now on to stitching. So to create a stitch, you need two threads. One is gonna come from the top and one is gonna come from below the machine. The thread below is held on a bobbin. So the next step is to wind and install a bobbin. So we're gonna tilt our machine back to access our bobbin holder. We're gonna remove it from the machine and then go ahead and take the bobbin out. We will wind our bobbin and then reinstall it in our bobbin case and place it under the machine. Lastly, you need to thread your machine. Each machine is a little different, so again, refer to your guidebook for bobbin winding and threading instructions. So once the machine is threaded, you'll need to pull the bobbin thread up. So to do this, hold the top thread and rotate the balance wheel until the bobbin thread pops up. Then you can use a little utensil to slide it out, just like so. These are the first steps to set up your machine to sew. Now, if you have an ultra feed or you're interested in purchasing one, we've linked some additional video resources in the description below, so make sure to check those out. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to us and press the notification bell so that you can be the first to know when our next video in this series is released. We'll see you guys next time.